Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars with today's uh, Mad Science update. Stepping back 3.6 million years, footprints yield new clues to human ancestors. This is from the Guardian UK, which is a notorious left-wing uh, publication. The person all uh, we evolved from monkeys thing on us, which I don't believe. I think obviously we were engineered. Uh, footprints of five ancestors of humans who walked the earth more than 3.6 million years ago have been found preserved in volcanic ash that was dampened by recent an ancient African rain. Researchers unearthed the track by accident when they began to excavate test pits that had been called for as part of an assessment for the impact of building and proposed museum on the site in Tanzania. Markings reveal that ancient human relatives walked side by side for at least 30 minutes, meters. Footprints were laid down in a layer of ash that was subsequently buried. But when moistened, retained tracks like clay. What is this? Volcanic ash? The first analysis of footprints suggests that there may have won a male, three v females, and a child passed through what was known as the Poli in the African com country. The individuals almost certainly belong to a species of hairy bipedal ape called Astrolopithecus afarensis, which is known to have lived in the region. They're apes, you idiots! I didn't evolve from an ape! I have instincts like apes do. That's true, but I didn't evolve from an ape. Notice the, uh, if you look at the picture here, there's all sorts of tracks, all the things in it. That actually, all look like the same size tracks. Which, uh, see if we can bring this up. They don't even mention those. Gee, I wonder why. I don't even know what those are. They're kind of shell shaped, so, uh, maybe they're, uh, ancient. Seashells or something. That would make sense. Anyway. Most famous member of the species known as Lucy lived in the head area of Ethiopia 3.2 million years ago. Near 1.1 meters tall. She was tiny in comparison to those who left their marks in Tanzania. <laughs> so, Lucy is supposed to be the same species, you know. Uh, maybe she is a munchkin. Male stood up more than half a meter taller at one, 165 centimeters five foot five inches making them the largest astrolopithecus yet recorded his impressive stature for the species led researchers to name him chewy after the towering hairy wookie in star wars they're monkeys they're not our ancestors you idiots Having uncovered footprints and measure them, scientists use a number of mathematical models to can calculate the heights of different individuals. If the scientists are right, and the group consists of a tall male with three adult females and a child, it would bolster the theory that Astrolopithecus afarensis was 
polygamous must mean that white gorillas, males would have several females partners at once. Adult females stood about 140 centimeters tall, whatever that works out to. Measurements of the length and width of the footprints, angle of the gait, and the stride lengths allowed the scientists to calculate rough weights for the five. Tall male came in the heaviest, weighing 48.1 kilograms, while lightest only 28.5 kilograms. Later ash that preserved tracks has been dated to 3.6 six million years old, the same age of a similar sequence of hominin or human ancestors, oh boy, footprints found by famed paleontologist Mary Leakey, never heard of her, in the 1970s. These footprints enrich our knowledge about the most ancient hominin footprints in the world. They're monkeys, you idiots! Sharon told the Guardian, well, they tell us something about makers, too. In this case, we think that there's significant differences between males and females. That's the most striking thing. They're monkeys, you idiots. Well... It was all very interesting. Uh, don't know what the other tracks were. I uh, had my own ideas about how we came to be here. I think we were engineered by somebody. I'm an agnostic. I tend to think that other civilizations have been to this planet and were responsible for creating humans and many to most other species. As I've uh, noted in one of my playlists, Intelligent Design in Nature, there are just too many characteristics of animals that cannot be explained by evolution. It's just one thing after another. It's, I can go on if I made videos full time for ten years, I can uh, do enough of them. Oh well, let them have their little fantasy. And don't teach it to me. I ain't listening. I'm sorry. Too bad. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.